Please welcome Alan Muraoka and Martin V. Robinson from the Sesame Street family. In the entire history of the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, only three programs have received the Lifetime Achievement Award. This Old House, 60 Minutes, and Sesame Street. All programs with legacies so vast that it was only fitting to honor the programming in its entirety instead of any specific person. Well, tonight we honor two of the icons from the world's most famous street, Bob McGrath and Emilio Delgado. From a show that taught millions of children about the cycle of life with Mr. Hooper, the loss of these two profound artists echo through the generations. The human characters of Sesame Street were created to represent many things for a child, a parent, a problem solver, an empathetic listener, and most importantly, a trusted friend. I had the honor and privilege of working with Bob McGrath and Emilio Delgado since I arrived at Sesame Street 25 years ago. From day one, I saw how they use kindness as their superpower. We, the humans of Sesame Street, as we had come to affectionately call ourselves, are the public face of the show. And I learned from both Emilio and Bob that our jobs didn't end when we left our fictional street. I witnessed their care, their empathy, their tenderness. Whenever we were out in public and ran into a parent, a child, or an enthusiastic adult who had grown up watching them on their TV. They would talk, take selfies, sign autographs, and most importantly, take the time to listen to what each person had to say. I became their student, and I will continue to pass on the lessons that they have taught me. I was the new guy uh, 41 years ago, <laughs> and Emilio and Bob welcomed me in, and never a hitch, so nice, and uh, Emilio, you couldn't believe how kind and how wonderful this guy was, and I thought, how is he going to maintain this? Uh, and it had nothing to do with maintaining anything. He was the man that you saw on Sesame Street. He was that kind, that effusive, that positive. Uh, he used to joke about uh, before Sesame Street, he would be cast as heavies, you know, criminals, addicts, even the occasional indigenous, indigenous American. And finally, he got cast on Sesame Street, and he could be himself. And he was himself, that wonderful, wonderful man. Uh, Bob McGrath, on the other hand, nothing but trouble. <laughs> he was the best straight man we could ever work with, uh, surrounded by Muppet crazies pulling on him, jerking him around. Uh, just, we just never gave any of the humans a moment uh, of peace. Uh, and they would dress him up in the most just uh, triangle bob triangle pants you know when you're when you're later on youtube it's there look at that it's just a little gem and then they would dress him up as the teensy weensy spider and he had to climb the water spout and a tugboat and my dear wife wrote a bit with him as a broccoli and he came out on set dressed head to toe as a broccoli and went to her and said, thank you, thank you, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, we will miss these two gentlemen. Uh, it was wonderful to work with them. Uh, but know that they were as you saw them. And they were loved at home by their families. They were loved on the street where they worked and they were loved by the community and the world at large. So, here's to them. Thank you. 
and sadly, we've also lost other talented members of our community this year. We grew up with them, we miss them, and they will remain in our hearts forever as their contributions helped shape the very fabric of our beings. Last your whole life long Don't worry that it's not good enough For anyone else to hear Sing Sing a song Why don't you uh, do it, Luis? Canta Sing Canta una canción la, la, la. Canta en voz alta, canta fuerte. 